I think we've got the gist of the story. I'm going to stop sharing now. From the video, we can see the couples having issues and people trying to separate them. Apparently, because the, the bride-to-be on their wedding day, you know, she's hiding the fact that she's got two children for the fiancé. Somehow, I don't know what happened, how he got to know, but somehow he found out that the lady's got two children and the lady's been lying to him. And that's why all this katakata is happening. Okay, that's the story. Okay, so now my question is why? I believe we all heard that. Thank you, you mommy, Keshiro, for your response. We all seen it. It wasn't too big, but we have an idea of what's going on, you know. It's the story of two couples with there's a dispute and a lie about having children. So why would anyone, you want to go into a new relationship? I don't know what you, the experiences or the challenges you had from your past relationship, but you're going into a new one, you know, a new start and all that. But now you've, you're you starting the foundation of this re new relationship with a lie and not just a lie, a big lie, a lie you cannot escape from. A lie you cannot hide from for too for too long. A lie that is part of your life. It's just like telling somebody, my one of my eyes is blind. When it's so obvious that you got two eyes, for how long will you be able to go about and pretend that one eye is blind? One eye is blind. You cannot do it for long. You'll be exposed. So why, 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 why is my question? Why such a big lie? Thank you, Mommy Bola Williams, for joining me. And then she's, uh, I'm going to read her response to this. Some people lie because they were disappointed in the past when they revealed they had children. Okay. That's one reason. Uh, because you've told maybe you've had children and then you try your relationship. I told the truth. Oh, I've got two kids, I've got three, or I've got one. And then you've seen the reaction of the man or the woman. That's you, you purpose to be with. You've seen their reaction, or maybe they ran away, and whatever the reason is, but the relationship broke up. And then you believe or assume that the best and the next thing to do is to lie for the next person that comes your way. Okay. Is that enough reason to lie? How long can you hide this lie? Please do join in and bring in your comments. How long can you lie? How long can you hide? I'm waiting for more response, more reply. How long can you lie and why, why, why lie? I'm trying to understand the why. And then Mommy Adela Kashinro says, you don't need to lie to your husband or fiancé, either male, female, or husband lie to fiancé or the woman lie to the partner, whichever way the situation falls to. If he or she loves you, he will love you with all your kids. Always let your husband know your past. Very, very, very important. Now, when we talk about past, though, there is a question mark on what Mommy Keshinro says, which past? 
Is it the important one or the non-important one? Is it the one that is beneficial to the family or is it the one that is detrimental to the family? There are some things that are, they are not secret, but they're not important or necessary for you to share. But when we talk about what is very important to share, this is one of them. I was reading something recently where somebody said, if, if it's not a serious relationship, then you don't actually need to tell the person the truth. Whether the person, you've got kids or not, you don't need to tell them because you're not, it's not as serious anyway. So anything can happen. You can't, you can't be bothered. But then I ask myself, the relationship you think or you assume is not going to last for long. Might end up being that relationship that you really want. And you're actually hoping for it to last. And if peradventure, what you thought won't last now happens to, to develop and grow to another level. What then do you say? Gina come back and run and say, oh, sorry, I didn't say I've got kids. But now that our relationship is gone to the next level, I think it's important or necessary for you to know. How do we weigh the balance? How do we weigh? Thank you, mommy. The beneficial past. Thank you very much for adding that. Now, I for me, I, I thought of it. And the only thing I can think of, two things actually, that could make anyone lie about their children is fear. Fear. And fear can do, <laughs> let me not use wonders, but fear can do a lot of damage in relationship, in life, in everything, in business, name it. Fear can destroy and destroy anything. So I believe so much that the reason why this is playing up is because of fear. Now, what's the fear about? Could be numerous of reasons, but there is the fear of the unknown. What would he say? The fear of being judged. How would I be seen? The fear of questions that will pop up. Who is the father of your children? What happened? You know, now the story, the story can come up, but what is behind your story? Everybody has stories. So is it a pleasant story you can share? Or is it a story that ah, hmm, I'd rather just go to the grave with this, with this shame, with this, you know, the situation you find yourself in. You don't want anybody to know. The fear, fear of how will I be judged? How will I be seen? How will I be perceived? The fear and of rejection. Like Mami Bala said that perhaps such a person has been rejected before. So decide, ah, I don't want the same thing that happened before to happen again. All about fear. Now, when we look at the reason being fear, what do you get to lose is the next thing. By lying. Or by allowing this fear to consume you. What are you going to lose? Or what are you going to gain by lying? It's good to weigh things and check balance. <laughs> Mommy, Bola says, fear of the unknown and pressure from the family. Can you explain more, Ma, the, what you mean by pressure from the family? What kind of pressure will make you lie? Uh, coming to talking about family, like we saw in the video, the, 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 the bridegroom was challenging the, the step, no, not, I won't call step or anything, not even mother, she's not mother-in-law yet, the mother to the bride that you knew about this since you, you're part of this lie and you did not tell me anything. And the man said, no, I told her to tell you, I don't know she did not. Now, I don't believe that to start with, but now we'll talk about family. Would your mother or your family tell you, ah, don't tell him the truth or lie to him? That's another question. And that would make me question just a family I want to marry into. If the foundation of your relationship is based on lie. If it's based on lie, there's a big question mark there. Is that where you want to be? I mean, you're lying about your children. Is it, is it a taboo to have a child? Come here, come here, come here. No matter the circumstance in which you've had this child. It's a gift from God. The, your children are part of you. So 
Now, it's important to keep your marriage, you know, it's important to, to put your, your partner, you know, on a number one prerogative. But then your children, your children, you, you labored, you gave back to them, you've been nurturing them, and God blesses you with a man or with a woman. And now you want to say, I don't have children. Let's go back, rewind a little bit. What if your children now find that at some point in life that you've hidden them, you've denied them, you've pretended that they do not exist? What damage would that do to them? First of all, how would they see you? How would they, it's, even their self-esteem will be broken. Are we criminal? Are we crippled? Are we bad? What have we done wrong that will make mom or dad to hide us? Thank you, Daddy Fama Kima, for joining. We're looking at a bride who's lied to the bridegroom that she's a virgin, she does not have any children. Hello, don't forget the show you wanted to watch. That is Fama way, Kima, like can you move your skirt, like sir? Thank you for joining, sir. You know, Mommy Adela says it's not a crime to have children. 100%. Now, either you had them out of wedlock. Either it's through rape, either it's through gamvalatin, you know, and having fun. It, even if you do not know the paternity of the child you have, it is still your own, yours, to keep, to nurture, to be proud of. It's yours. And by God and to God, you're going to account for that gift God has put into your hands. And this child or these children we're talking about, you don't know where God is taking them. You don't know what, how they're going to turn around, you know, or turn out to be. And you're denying them. And they know maybe they are not become rich, comfortable. And then they now find out, oh, you lied about them. You've been denying that they don't exist. Do you, do you can you imagine the heartbreak? the pain and if they love you 100% trust me that is going to come down to like 20 to 30% that is if it does not come to zero if a such children discover this they might decide i don't want to have anything to do with my mom anymore i don't want to have anything to do with my father anymore if my father can deny me then i'd rather even deny them Mommy Diola says, my children are my own before any other man. Shikena. Now, your spouse is important. The new marriage you want to go into oh, is, is important. It's lovely. It's beautiful. But you don't even know what's going to come out of that. You've already have children. Maybe this new marriage you are going into, you might not be lucky to have more children. So what's going to happen to the ones you've already had? Now, I'm, I'm looking at what are the repercussions that comes with this. From the video we saw, I mean, we've seen the guy saying, no, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. And they're like, how are you like this now? So we are begging you. Everything is set. Do we blame the man? Should the man swallow this big, gigantic lie and go on with the marriage? Please, I want answers. Should he? That's okay. It's okay. Now I know. No problem. We will, we, will, we, will, we will sort things out. Let's just go ahead and, and get married. Or should he cut it off and then come back to revisit the issue? Or should he even run away from the family and run like no man's business? What should such a man do? Why should he stay after such discovery? Or should the woman stay? It's it's more difficult to beg a man on such a circumstance. But now let me play it down to the woman. Should any woman accept that? If you can lie to me about your children, for me, I will not feel safe with you. If you can deny your children, you will deny me. I don't I won't feel safe with you. My life is not safe. And if by adventure I have my own children for you, so I don't know what might happen in life. Would you also deny my children? Yoba and Adi says, Eshima Junita, you will sorry. 
the us at the back looks at the speed and, and, and the formation and what is happening with the us in the front. Now, I've already seen your relationship with your children, okay? I've seen the way you handle them, the way you've dealt with them, or you denying them that they don't even exist. What would you do with mine? What would you do with mine? When Mikashire says no, that the man is not supposed to swallow it, okay? But then we also understand that forgiveness is important in marriage. Quote and unquote, they are not married yet. So Ole Jakpa, he can run for his dear life. Okay. But then should he forgive? Should he forgive or should she forgive? Like I said, it's difficult to tell a man to forgive <laughs> such scenario. But women, they say, ah, you are a woman now. Ah, what if they are your children now? You should, you know, embrace all of them. Thank you for joining Mommy Williams. If do you want to come and share your opinion ma, on this topic? Mommy Williams, do you want to speak, ma? Okay, I'm just going to continue then. Okay. So what do you do? How do you handle it? The foundation already has been broken. But when there is lie, that means there's no trust. And when the trust, there's no trust, the empathy you feel for each other, the compassion you feel for each other, with time, it will diminish. For some people, it will diminish like instant, instantly. Instantly, and that's the end of it. For some it might take a while. It depends on when they discover. What, what I mean, assuming they were already married, maybe six months into the marriage before he discovers or she discovers, oh, he's got children. And you are like, you don't want to divorce this person. They're actually nice person. They are loving. They are everything. The only question mark is them hiding their spouse and their children. And you really love this person. You want to be with this person. But this is not a lie you can shake off. No, no, no. You can't just shake it off like, okay, you know, we'll just sweep it under the carpet. Now, automatically that brings distrust. That, seriously, I don't know how you're going to build that trust back. And then the, the other party begins to monitor you. What again has he lied to me about? You know, before they were so comfortable with you, they're so relaxed with you. They're not looking for anything. Maybe there's any magumago anyway. But with what has happened now, they are very careful. They are monitoring and watching and trying to see, ah, what else has he lied about? Even the wedding ring he bought me. Let me go and check if it's truly gold, as he said. Uh, he said he has one property somewhere. Let me go and get investigator to check if truly that property is real. They begin to check everything that you have said before. And even when you say new things or do new things, they are, they, are, they are like, let me not close my two eyes to sleep. They are checking. And that empathy that molds relationships together, that compassion, you know, begins to melt gradually. So the, 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 the point and the end of this is there's no need to lie about your children. There's no need to even lie about anything anyway. Most especially not what you know they will discover. If a man cannot love me with my children, then the man does not love me. You know? Uh, Mommy Kashino says, if the man loves the woman before, before the love will immediately disappear. What if it's the other way around, man? What if it's the, it's the woman? Is the man that lied and then the woman are discovered. Women, we don't, we don't give up on love easily like men. We still try to give it a second chance, third chance. Ah, let them not say I'm divorced too. Let them not say, ah, she left husband house. Because people will not really say the truth. Or how many people are you going to tell this is the reason why my marriage broke? So a lot of women, they take, they take on a lot of, what's the right word to use? A lot of jargons. Just take it on board. Because if anyone wants to come and contribute at any point in time, 
please raise your hand and you have the floor. Okay. Emma Shemini Radio Asoroma Gbisi. All right. Lies will destroy any relationship. Forget it. It's just a matter of time. Vital information is important for you to spread and to share. Thank you, Sister Mary, for joining. God bless you. And in sharing, you need to share. As you go back to family, which family will support such lie? And they'll be comfortable to come on the wedding day and say, I present your wife, I present your husband, when they know they are hiding such big secrets. Which family does that? And they're like, have you told him? Are you sure? Okay, let me confirm. Call him for me. And mommy, no, don't worry. I've told, I said, call your husband to be. Let us be sure. Now, imagine if you have said that and the man has said, I'm sorry. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want any, any woman with any entanglement, any child. Or I don't want any man with any child. I want to be the one who will be the mother of his children. I want to be the one who will father her children. I don't want any extra children coming from anywhere. Now, there are some people who can deal with that. It is not a crime. It is not a crime. It is, it is not that you do not love the woman. Neither is it because you do not love the man. But you cannot deal with, because as beautiful, this is honest truth. You're hearing from a married woman. It's an honest truth. Now, as beautiful as marriage is, I have done my research also, not just from my experience. As beautiful as marriage is, when children begin to come in, I'm talking about your biological children, there are some adjustments that you have to make. There's adjustment you have to make. And that is why you see some people when they are married, they'll tell themselves, my brother did it for one year or two years, sorry, no kids. We're just gonna enjoy ourselves for the next three years before we start having children. Okay, but when children come in, it's another board game entirely. How much more external children, children that's not your biological children, they will, it comes with a lot of dramas. It, it comes in you trying to fit into their life, them trying to accept you as a mother or as a as a stepmother, trying to accept your 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 be your, your, your husband as a stepfather. It comes with a lot of drama. There will be some rebelliousness, disagreement, misunderstanding, which if not managed well, can also bring about the end of that relationship. So some people can say, you know what? I don't want to deal with this drama, so I'm not even getting into it. Now, that is not a crime. So if the man and the man say, sorry, I can't deal with it. Let's just call, cut it off. Then let it be cut off. Then you have peace of mind. You have nothing to hide. You have nothing to lose. Of course, your heart will be broken. Of course, you feel the pain. Yes. But it is for a while. And then, peradventure, by the grace of God, you find somebody else who will accept you with your children and who will be willing to work. I mean, work really hard to build that home. Rather than build a home on the basis of lie, you know, the foundation is already shaky. And then you're bidding it, you're bidding it, you're bidding it, and then it still, still collapse. So why not deal with it? I mean, when it's still day. Because when it is night and it crashes, where are you going to start from again? Let me read one or two more comments. Uh, Mommy Kessner says, base, base your marriage with a good foundation of truth. Very, very important. Very, very important. I cannot emphasize how important that is. And uh, another comment here on Zoom, which says from that the Famakiwa, a spouse should expect that their partner has some baggage. Yes, daddy, we all have baggages. But what kind of baggage are we talking about? There are some baggage, but the, the moment you, you're going into a new relationship, there are some baggage you need to drop, sir. There are some baggages you need to even set fire on them. You don't want to see them anymore. And there are some baggage that come into the relationship with you, but they need to be laid flat on the table. Oh, God, this is what is on board. But the moment you are telling me, hey, hi, baby, hi, sweetie, I love you. And you love me, are you sure? I have two children, no? 
So if you know you cannot love me too, you begin to delete yourself right now. Don't go far. You know? And then the person knows what they are getting into. No surprise. So which baggage are you bringing into the relationship? Do I want to deal with your baggage? I have the right to deal with it and I have the right not to want to deal with it. I've read, I read some comments today, you know, on a chat on this and a lot of women are like, sorry, they don't want to deal with baggage when it comes to children. Now, one of the fear is this, it's not because they don't love children or they don't want to have children around them, but it's always this quotation of, you are not my mom, you can't tell me what to do. And also goes vice versa. Some men too will say, ah, or some children too will say to the man, you are not my, my dad, you can't tell me what to do. Or even when the, 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 the parents are trying to rebuke or nurture the children, no, 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 you can't tell me what to do. You know, I mean, this is the way we've been doing it in my home. You cannot come around and not start changing everything. But then the woman is coming in, you know, uh, with the way she's been doing her thing or and she, she believes this is a, a better way and trying to make an impact. Some will say, oh, it's nice. Okay, okay, let's go on. Let's go on, that's nice. And so say, no, we should to come and tell us what to do. So if you don't want to deal with that, don't deal with it. But don't lie. Don't lie. So whatever fear you may have, deal with that fear and bring the fear into the open. Oga, madam, it is not by force to marry you. It is essential. It is beautiful. But it is not to do or die. It is not by force. So if that person is not going to love you with your baggage, if that person is not going to say, okay, you know what? This baggage is too heavy for only you to carry. I will support you. Why you won't kill yourself? Why? I don't see the point of it. I don't see the point of it. So whatever situation you find yourself, love your children. Embrace what God has given to you. Be proud of what God has given you. Don't look at the, the few hours or the few months of disappointment and then create more disappointment, more problem, more headaches. Not just for you now. For your partner, it doesn't stop there. Even the children involved. So with that lie, that lie you think is just little lie. Or you want to call it white lie. Look at how many people you're going to be hurting. And it will bring a lot of unforgiveness. It will bring a lot of bitterness. So please, stop pretending to be what you are not. Be yourself. Be real. Let people know, ah, hmm, look my own eyes, so she's going to look my So they know, don't bring nonsense near her. If another person knows, ah, this woman, she's got children, and she will pamper and cover her children, so <laughs> better don't go near her. Let them know you for who you are. This woman is a fighter. She's a troublemaker. Let them know you. But, okay, ah, I don't want a troublemaker. I can't handle it. You'll be surprised. Then there will be another man who will say, that is the kind of person I want. I don't want a big bay or swag bay woman. A woman that is slow or sluggish or just like, okay, all right. Anything you say. Some women want women that would, some men want women that would challenge them. Not being disrespectful. They are two different things. They want women that will keep them on their toes. Women that will just be fringing their brain every now and then like, ah, well, I bring a but I love her. So be you. God made you unique just the way you are. So be you. And the person who will love you for your uniqueness will come. I think another thing is probably because we give up on ourselves. You know, we give up. Anyone that comes now, if the next man that comes now, I must grab him. Oh, the man must not go because you've got children. Why? Who told you? If this one goes, another one will not come. If this one goes, many more, plentiful one will come. 
So if this one goes, another will come. Another edit in Yoba says, Bele Yoshe, Imi Ashe. If this doesn't happen, another will happen. But then go into this new relationship with open eyes, with open mind, hoping and wishing for the best. Laying all your baggage on the table. I wonder what will happen. I mean, they planned the wedding was on the wedding day. I mean, concerning the video we watched, how even the embarrassment for both families, especially the bride's family, all the money spent for catering, for drinks, for the hall, all the friends and the guests that's been invited. Why not save yourself all that embarrassment? Was, I, don't, I don't understand it. Why not save yourself that embarrassment? I mean, I saw in the clip, she was rolling on the floor in a wedding dress, begging the guy, pulling his leg, please, please. Why bring yourself to that point? What happened to self-esteem? What happened to self-love? What happened to self-respect? Another thing again, that I believe strongly that could, you know, make a woman, especially a woman, lie about this is financial status, money. Maybe, you know, she's struggling with the children and suddenly this good man comes into the picture and this woman is catering for her needs financially, paying her rents, assisting with her bills and everything is going romi romi ah. If I'm not going and tell him that I have children now, maybe he will run away. And the woman is scared. I don't want to lose this good man that's been so good to me. I don't want him to run away. So they now decide lying is the best option. You know, you now decide, okay, let me lie. For how long? And then the lie. And they might continue to cater for their needs financially and otherwise. But then again, at some point, the truth will come out. How do you think that man will feel? The man will feel used, abused, embarrassed, frustrated, bitter. And it, it, the effect is not just, it doesn't end with you. The results of the act of the lying doesn't also end with the man. But then it also extends to new applicants, if I may use the word. For the man to think or to go into a new relationship becomes even more challenging. Because I, I hear some men will say, ah, women, they are all the same. Even we women will say, men, they are all the same. And so this, this person is going to be like, hmm, let me just stay where I am. Because which other woman, they are all the same. They are all liars. So what, the lie, the, the foundation of lie you have built that has created a, a, an emptiness, a void in the hearts of the man or the woman, depends on who this happens to. It's also as it's, it's also affecting, you know, women that are that might come into his life or the new man that might come into the person's life. Because if you just assume this man that I love so much, this man that I respect so much, if he can do this to me, then who else can I trust? Who else can I believe in? And they just conclude, men are all the same, I beg, women are all the same. So why don't we save the world a lot of trouble by just being ourselves? Save the world a lot of trouble by being honest. Thank you so much on Facebook for joining. Please do share the program. Let's bless people with this. Encourage somebody to just speak the truth. Okay, and on Zoom, thank you all for joining. God bless you. Please on my uh, YouTube channel, my name hasn't changed. It's Ekene Adeniji. Please subscribe to the channel so you see videos. 
that have been uploaded for the past four years. Now, I've been doing this for four years now. Okay, so I've got videos, there are lots of videos and um, lots of topic. You know, you can bless somebody with, you can listen to while you're driving, while you're in the house, you know. Education has no limit. I mean, from while I was preparing for this, I've also learned something new, which I'm also going to work on in my family. So every day we learn, all right? So let's bless somebody with it. Ekene Adeniji on YouTube. And every time I finish a program, I'll upload the video on YouTube. So if, if somebody says, oh, I'm not on Facebook, they can still watch it. They can still be blessed with it. And on the 18th of December, I'm going to be celebrating four, four years anniversary of this talk show. All right. So please keep the date, 18th of December, and I'm getting lots of youths involved. Please, parents, join in. We want to educate the youths you know, about marriage and be able to break the, the genes of fear they have. There's this genes of fear. Ah, I hear a lot of people say, I don't want to get married. Why? We want to know why. And then we want to be able to advise them and help them. We want to be able to help them deal with this fear they have. Probably from what they've seen with their parents or even among their peers or they see on TV, you know. And there's a lot of confusion going out there. And somebody was asking me recently, a, teen, a youth, not a teenager, that what do I look for in a woman? They have these questions. And sometimes, actually most of the time, it's not every child that is comfortable to go to their parents to ask these questions, okay? Which also means a relationship has to also be built amongst our children so that they can be free to ask us any question. So this, this is an opportunity. Please, let's invite everyone in the churches and in, in the school, wherever your children, let's get them on board. Maybe there's something you've been trying to encourage your youth about on marriage. It's an opportunity. Send the link to them, send the program to them. Let's come on board, ask questions. They may not even be able to ask questions. Maybe somebody else will ask the question that is in their mind and they'll be getting the answer. They'll be enlightened. And it's a forum where it's not about mommy or daddy. They'll be free to open their minds and talk and express themselves. So even though we want to teach them, we want to educate them, we're also going to be learning from them to see what you know, their perspective and what to the society, you know, has done to our youth concerning marriage and how far are we even as adults, what are we showing them concerning marriage? Are we showing them the good side of marriage or the bad side of marriage? Because to everything in life, there is the good and there is the bad. So come 18th of December, this is your open invitation. 18th of December, that's two days to my birthday. So please, Give me that as my birthday gift. Okay, everyone, um, I can see people online. So I'm writing your, your name down. So I'll watch out if you're going to be there. Give me that for my birthday gift. My birthday is 28th December. And the event, 40th anniversary, is coming on on the 18th of December. It's on a Sunday. And it's going to be in the evening after church service. So you're all relaxed in your home. Just go on Facebook, go on Zoom, join in and be blessed all right so that's how far we're going tonight until next week next week um thursday mm, i'm coming up with a big powerful one it's going to be a two-week series and that is on the the woman as an altar so the next two weeks is just going to be for us women women please come you know yourself but then come and learn more about yourself come and hear more on what the scripture says about you and why would a woman be called an altar? What is an altar? And who is a woman? And how does the two work together? Okay, I'll give you an, one insight. A woman will also be called an altar because that is where God invests. That is the altar where that brings generation. Generations come out of us. Nations come out of us. Kings come out of us. Everything come out of us. Okay, so God is interested in us. God has invested in us, all right? And there's so much expectation from us. We are carrier of nations. Ah, we are, we are magnificent, okay? So for the next two weeks, come and learn under the feet of Christ. Until I see you next week, thank you, Mommy Elizabeth. Thank you, Mommy Mary, Daddy, Daddy Fama Kingwa, Mommy Keshiro. And I think some people have been in and out. 
for as many names as I can see or not. Thank you so much for joining. Until next week, stay blessed and spread love. God bless you.